Okay, I will solve a question to illustrate how I can obtain my pressure under immersion. So let's take a look at the question. This is the most important thing because it looks a little bit complicated. So what I have here is these blue colors are kind of like walls, okay? Goes down over here and over here. So what happens is I have water over here occupying all the way to here. There's some air. Okay? And I don't know the pressure of this air. That's not supplied to me. And as you can realize, oil is lighter than water, so it flows on top, right? So it, it when I pour it over there, it is right over here. Okay, the three meter is the height, the weight is not supplied, and the question and note that this part is open to atmosphere, okay? And if you need it, the atmospheric pressure is 101.325 kilopascals, okay? And the question is asking me to find PA, PB, PC. So I'm going to start by PA, obviously, right? Let's start with the order of two letters in the alphabet. In order to obtain PA, what I need to do is, well, let's think about it. Can I jump simply say that four times density of the water times G? Nah. Why? Because I'm changing between two fluids over here. There's a fluid that is occupying three meters here, and there's one meter that is the water. So what I need to do is you can simply, if you think about that, you can simply go from here to here, and then I go one more step down there. So actually, if you want, let's say that this question is asking for PD. Let's say. It's not, but I'm, I'm asking you that. And, you know, it will be relevant soon, okay? Why am I calculating PD? So let's do actually first calculate the PD. PD will be equal to rho G. What is the rho? You need to be specific. Rho of oil times G times the height that I travel down. This is meters. So is this in absolute or gauge terminology? This is in gauge terminology. If somebody asks you what is the absolute, typically they don't. They go with the uh, gauge, but I'm indicating to you so what you need to do is you need to write 101 325 that is the atmospheric pressure plus rho of oil times g times 3. Just to illustrate I will calculate both for your purposes okay so in here then what I do is let's go ahead and calculate this density of oil is given to me as 912 that is kilogram actually let's write the units to show you the, how to obtain the unit of pressure kilogram per meter cube and then g is 9.81 what is the unit of acceleration meter per second square right and then the last one is three meters okay this looks a bit complicated how am i gonna get pascal in here well we'll, we'll don't panic we'll do it together so i get myself here meters square so i'm just looking at the units at this point Okay, so let's think about this. What is m times a, right? That is force. And m is kilogram. What is acceleration? Meter per second squared. And so that becomes Newton. Look at this with different color. So this is the kilogram I have over here. I have meter over here. And I have seconds squared over here. So can I simply go ahead and say that is Newton up there? Yep. Okay. So what, what do I have at, at the denominator? I have meter squared. So you can see I get myself Newton per meter squared. This is Pascal. Okay. So now the units has been demonstrated to you. The only thing that's left over here is to write the final answer. PDG will be. So when I punch this into my calculator, I get myself 26,840 Pascals. So if I write this in kilopascals, that's going to be 26.8 kilopascals. If somebody asks me, what is the absolute value of that? I simply what I do is I do it 101325 plus 26840 and this will be my absolute pressure 128,165 pascals or if I convert this to kilopascals I will get myself 128.2 kilopascals. What I would like to, to note is that these are the two same pressures okay. So that's what my PD is. Again, I'm just demonstrating. Typically, I'm more interested in the gauge, but I'm pointing it out in case um, yeah, you get 
exposed to this. Okay, so I find my PD. Then let's go to the P PA. It's the relation between PA and PD. PA will be equal to PD plus rho water times G times the H that I'm going down. Let me indicate to you. So you see PD is, what was it? I forgot. 26.8. So this is 26.8 kilopascals. Obviously, I converted 26,800 plus rho of water because I'm traveling in water down here when I go from D to A times the G times one meter. So that's fairly manageable. So if I um, seem to write it, so it's going to be 26,800 plus 999 times 9.81 times one. So I got myself 36,600 pascals as my PA value, or if I write here, I can get myself PA is equal to 36.6 kilopascals. Depends on which, which particular units I've been asked to find. Okay, so this was, was the first part of the question, so PA. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is, is you, I will go to find my PB. Okay, so let's do this. Hey, look at it. As they are at the same height, they should have the same pressure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do at open atmosphere. So I know the pressure in here is gauge. So I'm going to add times rho G, rho is for the oil, times 2, right? I mean, this is to scale. You can see 3, so it's 2 here. Or actually, I gave it to you here, to 1 meter, so it's 2 meters. And you call it a day, and you leave the exam. You're expecting 100, and then you, your score comes over. It is, I'm making this up, 65. And you're like, uh-oh, what happened over here? Well, let me tell you what open, happened over here. This pressure is not equal to this pressure. That's what happened, okay? So what would be the reason? Because think about it. Think of this as a U-shaped manometer. So I go down, right? I approach here. Then I go down in here. Look at what I'm going down in. I'm going down in oil. So if I go like that, the pressure is constant, right, over here. Then I go up, right? But I go up in the water. Do you see what I did there? So it's almost like a YouTube manometer. So I have to go down to D, then I have to go down, go up to B. So let's proceed. So I know my PD. That's why I find my PD. It is fairly critical. Uh, then I will go up one meter to get my PB. Okay, let's write it. PB will be equal to PD, this time around, minus rho water G times one meter is the height. So let's write it in here. 26,800 minus, this time around, 999 times 9.81 times 1. Okay. Uh, question to you. Uh, I know it's not going to be a negative value here. Is Let's say that I gave you the height to be, uh, you know, a, a larger value. So this term becomes more than 26,800. What am I going to do? Am I going to panic? I'm getting a negative pressure. Is that even feasible? Did I make a mistake? It doesn't exist in real life. Well, what's going on over here is I'm using gauge, so it can be negative. If my pressure is negative, it means 101.325 minus that value. So it's still absolute wise, a positive value for you to follow me. Okay? Um, but if I punch this into my calculator now, I get myself 17,000 pascals. It's still a positive value. Okay, this is in the gauge terminology. Let's try PB. Or if you want in the kilopascals, you can see I get myself a 17 kilopascal fairly round number. Before I move on, um, you know what, what happened in here? I didn't really know the pressure of the air, right? So what's going on over here? Can I simply say, hey, this is like an atmospheric pressure over here, etc.? No, you can't say that. I didn't give you the pressure over here. Actually, now you find me the pressure of this air in here. What is the pressure of air, air over there? 17 kilopascals. It's the same, right? Over here. Okay, so now let's go to PC. So how am I going to find it? Because it's at the corner. So is it going to be zero? Because it, look at it, it's open to atmosphere. So it's like touching in here, it's going to be zero? No, 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 no. You're looking at the other side of the surface. I'm asking you the surface over here, okay? It's not going to be zero, or it's not going to be PATM. So what it's going to be is, I'm not sure we, you see it, but it's going to be PD, 
it will be exactly the same value of PD over here, okay? So if I go down over here, this will be PD will be equal to PC, which was, I forgot, 26.8 kilopascals. 